Greetings, Eric back a naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thank you for checking out this video today. I've got a question for a person in America. What is the difference between a white tongue and having oral thrush? Are they the same? Is there any difference between them both? Yes, well in fact, there are some similarities there, but let me first explain what having uh, oral thrush is. So oral thrush really is a yeast infection of the oral cavity. So it's generally Candida albicans. So what are some of the causes of oral thrush? Well, babies are more prone to having oral thrush, for example. People who wear dentures, especially if they're not fitting that well or, or if a person sleeps with dentures overnight, you know, they could be rubbing on different parts inside the mouth, causing a bit of discomfort. Those are things can make the, the mucosal wall in the mouth around the gums more susceptible to a yeast infection. Taking antibiotics, especially recurring antibiotics, Sometimes dry mouth syndrome, uh, there are some diseases, uh, for example, Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease where a person can have lack of saliva production that can predispose you towards a yeast infection. Uh, certain chemotherapy uh, drugs or certain medications like antipsychotic medications can dry out the mouth or antidepressants. These can make you more uh, prone to having oral thrush. Uh, being a diabetic, uh, you know, there are many reasons, uh, even lack of vit sufficient vitamin B12 or folic acid uh, or iron can predispose you to oral thrush. So it's not that uncommon, and many of us from time to time may have had a little bit of thrush here or there in the mouth, sort of white spots. If you go to Google and type in uh, oral thrush image search, you'll see pictures of, of oral thrush. Uh, a white tongue is a bit different, however. A white tongue may involve candida. Uh, but often it will involve dysbiosis or a problem with the person's digestive system further down. So again, let's analyze this, what white tongue means, you know, and sort of look at some of the causes of this and how we can remedy this. The way to remedy oral thrush, uh, obviously, is uh, to understand the causes, you know, and make sure that we nip these in the bud. If we prevent the causes, we, you know, we prevent the event. So white tongue, however, you know, if you're a smoker, you could be more prone to a white or a yellow tongue. Again, certain medications can color the tongue. Certain foods can create problems. But the most common uh, time I would see uh, a white tongue on a person is if they've got poor bacterial levels in their gut. I often see it with low stomach acid, one of the causes. Uh, that would be one of the primary causes would be a problem of stomach acidity, especially sort of upper, uh, you know, the upper stomach, or the upper digestive system, the stomach, I should say. Pancreatic insufficiency, so a problem with the pancreas can cause, you will find that if you improve the person's digestion with enzymes, often that will help the tongue significantly. Uh, improper diet, eating the wrong kind of foods, a lot of starchy and floury foods uh, can predispose you towards that, sugary foods. So these also encourage bacteria levels which are not really desired, so bad bacteria in combination with some candida in the gut will invariably cause that. I've previously done a video showing you different parts of the, the tongue and different areas of the digestive system that are affected. But I'll go over that once again, sort of for you, you know, for your understanding. The tip of the tongue represents the stomach. The middle part of the tongue represents the small intestine. The rear part of the tongue represents the colon. So if you've got a problem, you know, if you poke out your tongue and have a look, if you've got a discoloration at the back of the tongue, it's going to represent more problems further down the GI tract. If you've got cracked tongue, uh, it represents heat or too much strength in the digestive system. I see this often with people who eat spicy foods or drink too much alcohol. In Chinese medicine, we call it too much heat or too much fire in the digestive system. So you need to eat more cooling foods and reduce alcohol, for example. Problems with the edges of the tongue will often mean liver problems. Thick, flabby tongue will often mean liver. Yellow-coated tongue, often liver or gallbladder dysfunction. White-coloured tongue, dysbiosis. Think about small intestinal bowel overgrowth. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you.